Hello dear friends, welcome back to your own YouTube channel Civil Engineer. In one of our previous video, we have discussed the suitability of the deep foundation. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss the suitability of raft foundation or you can say that we are going to discuss when to go for raft foundation or raft footing. So watch the video full and do not forget to like this video. Let's start today's discussion. First we will shortly define what is raft foundation. Raft foundation is basically the type of shallow foundation that requires the excavation of the entire working area and reinforced cement concrete slab is laid over the entire footprint of the building. In other words, you can say that a raft footing is a large continuous rectangular or circular concrete slab that carries the entire building load and spread it over the whole area beneath the building. It is one of the type of shallow foundation and it is helpful in controlling the differential settlement of the foundation. Rock foundation is also known as mat footing and inverted slab footing because it is provided in the form of slab but is an inverted like in slab the slab is supported by the column. Here in case of rock foundation the columns are supported by the inverted slab. Now we will discuss when to go for rock foundation. When spread footing or isolated column footing covers more than 50% of the structural area. Spread footing or isolated column footing is also the type of foundation in which footing or foundation is provided for each individual column. But if providing footing for each individual columns covers more than 50% of the total structure area then it is good to go for rough footing. The soil has low bearing capacity. If the support structure is heavy, so to avoid the stress concentration, rough foundation is provided to distribute the heavy load over the large area. By providing the rough foundation, the stress concentration will be reduced. The columns or walls are nearly placed so that the adjacent footing will overlap. When the load on the ground is not uniform or you can say that at some point of the area the load is more and at the other point of the area the load is less or soil throughout the area is not uniform and there exists the chances of differential settlement. So the rough footing or inverted slave footing is the most suitable foundation to deal with differential settlement. When soil strata is unpredictable and soil strata contain air pockets, so then you have to go for rough foundation. As we have discussed earlier that if the soil is weak and is not able to withstand the stress, so we have to reduce the stress on the soil by increasing the area of the footing and you have to go for rough foundation. Soil is considerably compressible and this compressible soil strata extends to a greater depth and other shallow foundation are not suitable to carry the load of the building so you have to provide a raw foundation, mat foundation or inverted slab foundation. And if the construction of other type of foundation are not suitable so ultimately you have to provide Rough foundation. It was all for today. Thank you very much for watching the video full. For more updated videos about civil engineering, please keep in touch. And if you have not subscribed the channel yet, please subscribe the channel by clicking the subscribe button along with bell icon to receive the notification of upcoming videos. And please do not forget to like this video. Thank you very much.